Hi folks, this is Rob from Skid Steer Genius and I've got a new product for you. Previously, people wanting to run 14 pin attachments would be able only to run an adapter. So an eight to 14 pin. The problem with that is you have only four channels on the machine. So what you would end up with is yes, you would have a 14 pin connector. You'd have an eight on the input side, but it wouldn't do you any good because you still only have four channels. So what I've created is this little adapter that plugs in and what you get from it is you get this cord along with this switch pack and a cigarette lighter plug here. The switch pack gives you two momentaries as well as a single uh, set of locking switches so you can lock it one direction or the other. This one is momentary. So this actually gives you four more channels. So you, you'll end up with eight channels coming out of your ASV, Terex, or your old style Caterpillar ABC series. The beauty of this is if you've got, say a Bobcat grader, say you've got a cold planer that are 14 pin, uh, as long as they follow the old Bobcat standard, you can literally just plug them into your ASV and you're off and running. Now let's dig a little deeper here and I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. So I've got my eight pin input here. Just gonna plug it into my machine. Okay, I've got my 14 pin here. And here's my little injector cord. This is what injects the extra four channels. And I'm just gonna have this here. I'll take my harness. And just to show you how simple this is, I literally can just stick it right here. There's my switches. I plug my adapter in and all I'll do is I'll take the other end here of my cigarette lighter and I'll just plug it in the cigarette lighter port inside the machine. Now I can run this through my window. I would suggest if you do that, run it to the back of the boom and then forward. That way when you lift the boom up for any reason, you don't tear the cord off. You can run it just right out through the window off and, and right back here. Or we give you enough cord, there's 20 feet of cord here. You can run it through the back in behind, uh, I think it's the where the air conditioner filter is. You can run it back through there, pull it back through the cab and then come out through the boom and just run it down along the side of the, of the hoses here and then just tie wrap it directly to the, to the cable at the back of the, uh, of the eight pin. And now you've got a two 14 pin compatible unit uh, plus you have two extra channels. That's great if you're running say an eight channel um, uh, an eight channel grader where you need the extra channel run a laser or something. It works great for that. Um, you can sw change that switch out if you don't want a locking, you can change it for a momentary. So there's lots of different things that you're gonna be able to do with this that just makes it so very, very valuable. Now let's just step inside the cab and I'm gonna show you exactly how I would install it into my own machine. Now here's your previous four channels. Okay, this is all these hundred thousand dollar machines are fit with you can buy a 14 pin option directly from ASV the only problem is it still just uses these four buttons so it maps it to the 14 pin but it doesn't give you any more control so this would be great for maybe a snowblower but if you want to run a cold plane or any kind of grader you're hooped there's nothing you can do about it so this likens itself to just being so easy because there's this little spot right here I can put it in Here's my controls installed. And then if I want, right here, it's my cigarette lighter. So they did set it up quite well for guys like me to come along and do aftermarket uh, control. So there it is, there's my power. Now I can just open my window and I can run it out there. Or what I did is I have another one installed already permanently. I drilled a little hole right here and I ran it right through the back of the cab. I do plan on installing a grommet. Uh, this was just so I could do a trial and make sure that everything works. So you can run it this way. You just drill a hole here, uh, put a grommet in and you're done and, and then follow the hydraulic hoses along the boom. You can actually see them right here and then all the way out and then you'll tie wrap it right next to the eight pin connector. And it's that simple and the, all your power cords and everything just go along, they'll just lay in this little trough next to the uh, to your stick, and you're good to go. Now here's something that's also really cool about this controller. 
I not only made an eight pin to 14 pin, but I also made a 14 pin to 14 pin. What this does for you is on your eight pin, it's gonna add four additional channels to your existing four channels. So it's gonna give you a total of eight channels. On a 14 pin, it adds also four channels, but it adds it to your six. So in most modern machines, uh, pinned out the old Bobcat style way, they have six channels. You now will have 10. The beauty of that is you can run one of the Atera boom arm mowers or a full on grader system with GPS, uh, laser. You can run all of that directly off the hand controls of your machine and also the additional buttons. So it's very convenient and very inexpensive um, and also very easy to install. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take this 14 pin, you're gonna use it just exactly the same way this one's done. You just plug it in, you'll run your connector over to it, uh, plug it in inside the cab, and then you'll plug your 14 pin attachment in and then you're ready to go. Um, and it's just absolutely amazing. Amazing how well this works and how inexpensive and simple it is. But that's not all. The other thing about this is there's a lot of the, still the old Kubota machines out there from 2010 to 2018. Those machines only had two channels. And the problem with that is when you go to run a snowblower, what are you gonna do? You've only got two channels so you can turn the chute left and right but you can't do anything else. So what this does is it gives you that four additional channels. So now it brings it up to a modern machine spec. So you can actually run as much as even a cold planer off of that, uh, off that old Kubota machine. It, it runs the pin straight through the, the harness, out the connector, and then adds in the four extra channels. So, and there's also some, some older machines that aren't configured properly even, like some of the Caterpillars. They're not configured with all the channels. So rather than pay Caterpillar an extra thousand dollars, you can pay a few hundred dollars for one of these adapters and plug it in and you're good, to, you're good to go. Hi folks, today I'm going to show you something really cool. This is how to add four extra controls to a 14 pin controls machine. What you see here is a Bobcat, which is a seven pin controlled. So in the case of this Bobcat, I'm going to add one of our controllers on, which is going to give us six 14 pin controls which are six 12 volt controls so i would put this in first okay this gives me my 14 pin and it also gives me six controls out and there i'm going to add four more controls and this is just necessary if i'm doing something special uh, like running a boom mower or something that takes a lot of controls even um, some of the modern tree spades need more controls so this adds four. So even if you have maybe a machine that only has two, this will add four. If you have a machine that adds four, that has four, this adds four. So you can get all the way up to having 10 controls on a machine, depending on how that machine was originally equipped. So one thing you're going to see is these controller boxes, we sell them for all different types of applications on Bobcats. Uh, this is the latest iteration. And the way we've, the reason we've gone back to this box is so that can people continually tear these apart because they're not paying attention, they're catching them on things, they're driving away with them connected. So we've made this so it's a lot easier to rebuild. And so how you would actually mount this on here is I'm gonna tie wrap it right here. And the hopes are that when you do tear it apart, you tear it right here because then you can easily rebuild this. What we don't wanna do is have this hanging down here and dangling with the possibility that we damage this box because once we tear these cables from the box, then that's it, we're done. Okay, so I've got this installed with a couple of tie wraps. And this is the 6014, uh, which is a six output 14 pin controller. Plugs into the seven pin of the Bobcat. Now, I don't have enough controls to run what I wanna run, so I can add this. This is a 14 pin to 14 pin. And the part number of this is a SG-BC6-BC10. And what that means is it comes in with six inputs, goes out with 10. And how we accomplish this, is we just plug this in to here. And what we have is this little pigtail. This pigtail will plug into another controller that we'll install in the, in the machine. Now, this can be as simple as just throwing it through the door, plugging it into your cigarette lighter, or there's enough cable on there that you can actually run it through the machine, run it down through the boom, and just pull it out through. There's a little access hole down on the side here. Or, uh, or you can run it down the boom if you want to, but I, I would never tell, tell people to do that. That's the way Bobcat does it. We always run stuff down inside the booms. Okay, and then all you're gonna do is when you go to use this adapter, is you'll just plug in the extra cable. And now you'll have an extra set of controls inside your machine 
that will give you 14 uh, 14 pin output with 10 controls, two of them being latching, which is also very important. Uh, that comes into play if you're running a, like a laser grader and you need to switch from manual to auto. Now here's the final important part of this. And what this is is a SG-RPC-100. And what this does is this gives us a momentary toggle as well as a locking toggle. Okay, and what this is going to do is this is the, the item that's going to add the four extra controls to our machine. Okay, so this is how simple it can be. You can be as simple as you just throwing the cable out the window for certain applications where the, you're not raising your boom up and down. If you are raising your boom up and down for some reason, depending on the attachment, of course, uh, I would tell you then to route it through underneath the ROPS, follow the hydraulic lines to the back there and bring it out through the side of the, of the boom. Here's the switch pack. Literally, I can put it as close to my controls as possible. It's on magnets. Okay, and then I can run my cable just underneath my legs here. Again, for a permanent install, you can put it under the seat or you can wire it in uh, permanently into one of the switches. There's open switches all up inside these. So you can actually undo these little tabs here and you can reach up inside and just run it up inside there and get uh, keyed power. You want to make sure it's running keyed power because you don't want to have power going out at all the time um, so that it's you know if you possibly leave this on the led it will run run your battery down so you just want to make sure that it's always connected to key power which most of these up inside here are key power okay so i've got the small connector plugged in here i have my load box connected up inside the cab so you can see how it operates and this is how it goes this is a one a two b one B2 over here, C1, C2, and then I go over here, and this is my extra controls. And then locking, and then locking again. And there is also, in your connector, there is a pin K. Not all machines will have pin K, so you will have to verify that if you need it. That is a keyed hot. Um, it's not necessarily always in every machine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to create a pin K in this 14 pin connector. Again, you're only going to do this if you have a Bobcat grader or something that you absolutely have to have keyed power all the time out of a pin K. So all we're going to do is I'll do the first part here that's really easy. There's this little jumper. It'll look a little bit different in the production kit. But all I want to do is, this is my main power. You see the red wire here. I just pull this out, okay? Plug this in. Okay, and then you see the top of the switch here going this direction. This is P, which is always the opposite. So it's this one here. Unplug it, plug it in here. Plug my power back in. Okay, and now this is ready. This has constant power. As soon as you turn the machine on, there'll be constant power going out to the output side of this connector. So now I want to do my 14 pin. Okay, so now I'm going to do the 14 pin. I've undone these little screws here, and then I unscrew this. It's good to maybe spray a little silicone on it to, to make it work a little easier. And then I kind of pull the connector apart. And all we're doing is we're, we look in the face here, all of the... Um, Connections are shown here. There's actually a raised letters that you can see and I'm looking for pin P Which is this one right here, and I'm going to move P down here to K So I just look in the back of the connector. My tool is a little bit different. You're going to get a little blue plastic tool Yours is a single use uh, I want to pull the little rubber out of the way here so I can see the connection Okay, I'm just pushing it in here. You can see it's starting to pop out. I'm going to use my tool here to help it help push it through. You can see it almost all the way out. You can carefully grab it, just give it a little persuasion to get it all the way out. And now I have a pin K in here. 